just show you guys a quick behind the scenes of how I get my proportions. For this, I am struggling a little bit. That's the reason I hate working on drawings for such a long period of time is because my drawing process does change over the years. When I go back and compare stuff side by side, I find it to be a little bit of a headache. So as you can see on here, I'm trying to um, just line up his face since that's the most accurate thing that I have up to this point. So um, the other thing is, oh yeah, so I have to fix his neck. I drew it at a little bit of a different angle because the face is tilted. If you can see up there, see the paper is actually not perfectly lined up, but the face is lined up. So that's how I can tell. I that's how I can tell. I drew it at a different angle. So now I have to reap the consequences of doing that. So this is actually too small. So I'm, or it might be the right size, but I'm just gonna have to like shift everything down a little bit. I can't start coloring any of this until I get this all correct because once you start coloring, you cannot go back, and I'm gonna be really upset. If I start coloring and nothing is lined up where it's supposed to be and then I will just have a total breakdown. See, so this is also like, this is too small. This, these don't line up. This is supposed to be more at an angle and this is supposed to be shifted over to the left a little bit. It's actually at the right angle, but yeah, that's, this is how I compare stuff. Um, just so I can see um, my progress and just where I'm at in a drawing. I'll usually draw little arrows next to things that I need to like move over so that's uh, where I can see what needs to be shifted or what needs to be erased altogether.